So you want to make your camera look better and you don't know how? Let me give you some ideas. Okay, so let's see how we can do this. Uh, the most common way to do it is a LUT. L-U-T stands for lookup table and it tells software how to apply color grading in real time uh, to a video or a camera feed. So what we're gonna do, uh, the first step is record recording a clip of you um, with your camera. I have recorded one with a webcam to show you that this can be applied to any camera, not just a fancy um, mirrorless expensive camera. So let's see it real quick. Uh, there it is. Okay, so it's just a simple clip. Uh, you can just look at the camera. A gray, car a gray card uh, will help setting the white balance, but I don't have one at hand right now. So let's go with it. So let's close this. Uh, let's open DaVinci Resolve, which is a free video editing software, which is great, by the way. If you don't use it for video editing, you totally should. So let's load the video into the media pool. Uh, let's uh, don't change because it's related to frame rates. It's not important for the for the um, the color grading stuff. So I'm just gonna leave it here. Uh, there's another thing you need, and that's gonna be the base LUT from OBS, the original file. You can find it on Program Files, OBS Studio Data, OBS Plugins, OBS Filters, and LUTs. You grab the original. I'm gonna get it out of the way and you load it into the, the media pool too and you can drag them both into your timeline really doesn't doesn't matter what order you do it and then what you do is you go to your color page When you're at the color page, uh, there's a bunch of stuff to look at. Uh, don't get too intimidated by this stuff, but a lot of stuff is relevant. Okay, so lift is gonna be your shadows, gamma is gonna be your midtones, and gain is gonna be your highlights. And that's a thing that you need to, to keep in mind. Then you have a few more uh, controls down here, like contrast, saturation, uh, the other ones will not be extremely relevant for for creating a lot. And you have your nodes, so you can. This is node based. Nodes act like um, adjustment layers on Photoshop or something. So they are chained up together. You can add more, and you can uh, you can change stuff on each one of them. So I'm gonna create one. I'm, I'm gonna call this one white balance. I'm going to call this one levels and I'm going I'm going to call this one saturation maybe This one I'm going to get rid of I, I shouldn't need that Okay so let's let's set the white balance Ideally uh this video should be of you holding a gray card if you have one cuz then you have a you have a um, a sample to set the white balance since i'm using a gray shirt it's not pure neutral gray so there's going to be a slight shift on white balance but i'm not going to worry too much about it right now but yeah uh, see how the red green and blue don't match there's 88 95 100 so to have perfect gray those numbers need to match or be close enough uh, that's a big shift that's like 13 points uh, difference from red to blue. So yeah, let's sample right here. So now our white balance has been set for the shirt. Okay. So it, eh, it's not perfect, but it's acceptable for, for the sake of this tutorial. So yeah, let's go with it. So resolve just crashed and I had to start over. Uh, but I think we're at the same point we, we just were. 
so I'm not gonna worry too much about it. Uh, so we were about to go to the levels part of the color correction. I moved the camera so you can see the the, the waveform down here on the scopes, so you can see where the, the, the levels are. So the shadows are kind of where they should be. I'm just gonna lower them a bit so I can darken the shadows. If you go too overboard, you start having massive amounts of clipped black and you don't want that. So I'm just gonna clip some of it. Uh, okay, so this should be okay. Now the gain, which represents the highlights, I'm gonna bring it up because I think the lighter areas of the image are a bit too dark. I'm going to raise them up until when they kind of clip. Okay, the red is clipping a bit right there, but nothing to worry about. Uh, actually, I'm going to lower it a bit. You can keep tracking the, the image for uh, weird stuff. I don't think there's anything too bad right now. So yeah, let's let's keep it like this. And I think the gamma, which are the midtones, is kinda Yeah. I, I don't think I'm gonna touch the gamma actually, because I think it's pretty decent right now. Yeah, let's let's stick with this. That's kinda cool. Okay, so now saturation. I think this image could have a bit more saturation. You can also click and drag the saturation thingy. Okay, I don't want to go overboard with the saturation because that's gonna create weird stuff on the on the the face on the skin tone. So let's keep it like this. And you can easily toggle this button to see the before and after. So this is what we started with. And this is what we ended up with. See? That easy. Now, what we need to do now is apply the grade to this guy. You just right click the LUT image and you go and apply grade, actually. Like this. Apply grade, see? The image changed and all the nodes are here. So what uh, now you have applied the grade to the um, to the um, to the file, to the LUT file. So now you need to save it. Uh, and it needs to be uh, for OBS, it needs to be a PNG file and it needs to be 512 by 512. So the way you can export it is go to your project settings and make sure your timeline resolution is 512 by 512 because it needs to be that size and then you go right here and view stills grab still and it saves a still right here but now you need to export it so right click export as a png file and save it wherever your LUTs will be stored. So let's call it uh, LUT for video. And you export it as a PNG file and it's done. Okay, so now you just have to um, load it into OBS and apply it to your webcam. So let's grab OBS. Uh, what you need to do is go to your webcam and filters and down here on the effect filters you add a new LUT you call it whatever you want it doesn't matter you go to the path and browse then you choose your LUT folder and LUT for video we just recorded it and open that and there you go before the LUT after the LUT. It's that simple. So yeah, it's that easy to do. Uh, you just need to fiddle around with the controls and see what works for your 
a specific case because lighting affects everything and what camera you use affects everything and camera settings you use affect everything so there's not a lot that you can download from somewhere and apply to your stuff there's plenty to download but they just don't work because your light is different uh your camera is different and there's no one fits all for that you need to fine tune everything to suit your uh camera feed and your liking too so yeah just go with it experiment and it's free resolve is free and yeah i think that's it guys stay awesome subscribe on um the channel and make sure to drop on Twitch and follow because I stream uh, every once in a while. And you, we can talk there and whatnot. So stay awesome, guys. Always have fun. Bye.